Right, another one for advancing car. Um, today, this is uh, not so much a how-to of fitting crews onto a T6. It's more of like a, an insight of what goes into it. So the areas you have to work in, um, steering wheel, BCM, and then all the way over in the E-box, um, in the engine bay and the battery. So rather than doing like a full-blown how-to, because it gets quite involved and stuff, I'll just show you all the main areas you need to work in, um, just so you can see what's involved, really. Um, it's a cool job cruise, pretty involved, takes a few hours. Um, uh, yeah, so let's just kind of crack on with it, really. Uh, right, so obviously, we're going to be changing the, uh, the whole stalk assembly, running in our new wires from the um, L-shaped plug that goes into the back of those. And then they're going to have to run off, down, follow the looms as neatly as we can, uh, up behind the clocks and things. And then we're going to be going down to the BCM, which is obviously behind this kind of knee panel. Um, we then also have to pick up some ignition and then run off into the uh, engine bay and away. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to crack on and remove the wheel, remove the top and bottom cowlings, uh, get the clocks and everything out, get the knee panel out and the kind of uh, pedal panel, that's not what it is, the black one that's up uh, underneath, get all that out. Basically, so I've got everything is open and accessible in this area so that I can get all of this area done in terms of uh, pinning out, running my cables. And then once I get to the point of poking the cables through the bulkhead into the engine bay, I can then just put all of this back in and I'm only then in the engine bay because that's where it then gets messy. You don't want to be touching trim and stuff with horrible grubby hands and things. So um, yeah, I'm just going to crack on, get all this out, out and apart and then uh, we can pick it up from there. Right, there we go. Um, dash is all stripped down, all the areas I need to work. Obviously, because I do this day in, day out, I can whip through it really easily and really quickly. Um, but if you want a more detailed video on how to like, you know, remove your steering wheel, change the steering wheel, we've got a, a how to fit a multifunction steering wheel video you can have a look at. And also, removing the clocks, we've got a separate video um, for that as well. So it just gives you more of an idea on what you need to remove and what you need to take out, what you need to be careful of as well. Um, so yes, yeah, so you can check those out if you want a bit more of an idea. Right then, um, where are we at now? So we've got the, got the L-shaped plug here. This is where we're going to be um, pinning out our five kind of main cables. Is it five or is it six? Five, six. five cables in here. Um, that pin out in here. Uh, they're then going to run down with the loom and they then have to go into this little tray that goes down here, that the main factory loom goes in. Now it has to do that because you still need to have the function of being able to adjust the steering wheel back, you know, in and out and up and down things. You don't want it just being some sort of banjo string that's you know, flying down on its own because as soon as you pull it, you're either going to put strain on something or break something and then stuff's not going to work. So you follow all the factory looms as best you can really. But because the dash is so open, you know, you've got loads of room to get to everywhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take the lock out of this plug, pin out my cables, run my loom down with this factory loom. It then loops back up behind the clocks because then what I'm able to do is there's a breakout on the loom for the cables. Let's just get it. There's a breakout on the loom for the cables that then drop down to the BCM. Um, 
and then I'll then also pick up some ignition, which will be down in this area as well. And then we'll be at the point where, if you've worked on a T64 before, or you tinkered with the uh, of five point ones as well, actually, there's like a there's a bulkhead panel that's back there, little round grommet in there that um, you can see once you've lifted the scaffold panel. Um, so we'll be able to show that bit later. That's the kind of the area is going to be working from going from here down up behind the clocks, dropping off the BCM, pick up some ignition into the engine bay. And um, because obviously it's a factory loom, it, it, it has all the dropouts in the right places. A couple of places we need to sort out some slack just because um, obviously these looms are made to work with left hand drive cars as well. So, uh, so yeah, let's just crack on with it. Um, and then we'll obviously we'll fit the, once we put everything back on, the new stalks will go back on. We've obviously got crews at this end and uh, we'll just go from there really, so yeah. So um, I pinned out all of this plug here. I've rooted my cable down the steering column and up around the back, I put my light on. You can see I've just rooted all the way around following the factory loom. And then at this point up here, you then, you're basically at the top of the BCM just here. So what I've done is I've poked my cables that are gonna go down to the BCM down there. Once I've terminated those, I can then tidy up this slack area. Um, this little section here that runs off, this is coming over to this section where I'm then gonna pick up my um, ignition and things. So this cable here, it's got a little fuse holder on it already, it comes with the loom. So I'll be able to pick up ignition with that. And then this bundle here, this is my cable that we're then going to poke through the grommet that I was talking about. And uh, that's going to run all the way through the engine bay and through to the e-box. So what I can do, if I pop on the floor, I can show you the grommet roughly where it is before I have to get my hands dirty and um, and take stuff apart. We can see it from the front. If I put my light on, now in here, there's the door loom that comes through in a material kind of bag sort of thing. So if I move up out of the way and that can get in there, just hopefully see a grommet just here where there's already a cable going through. So that's the grommet we're going to go through. And that area is um, brings you into the little area where the top of the strut mount is for the front suspension. Um, so it just brings you into that little box area there. And then, um, and then that gives us that access through the bulkhead into the engine bay. So we can then run across and do that. So I'll, um, I'll get on and terminate my BCM cables and hook up my ignition. Then I can get all of this back together so that I've done it with clean hands and then we can tackle the dirty bit. dash all back together. Everything's all back in. New stalks are on with the crews on the end. Um, I've already poked the K1 
cable through the grommet I showed you earlier. Um, put everything back on, just so, like I said, you're not then trying to do it with dirty hands and stuff like that. We can now kind of um, you know, close off the inside of the van, which is now done here. Go to the front, so we'll pop the bonnet, and go and have a look. Okay, so over on um, the driver's side of the van, you've got this panel here and you've got a bigger one over that end. Now, these are the kind of access panels for the strut tops. Um, and that is where that little grommet is that comes through the bulkhead from the cabin of the van. Um, so my cable currently is just bundled up in there because I've just kind of poked it all through. So what I've now got to do is remove both the wipers, remove the rubber, gasket that goes across, remove the scuttle panel, because then I can get to my cable. I'm then gonna run it along with the power cables that are going, pardon me, that are going all the way along under here anyway, um, for wipers and things. I then have to remove all of this assembly, this kind of shielding assembly, the battery and this panel here, so I can then get through, because what I then need to do is remove all the hard tray that's under this cover. So this one down here, I need to remove this because this is the sealed lid for the e-box. So my cable is gonna come down and with this um, factory loom that's at the back here, it's gonna run down through with all of this and then drop down uh, because in that e-box is like a stack of various plugs that all plug in and typically, the very bottom black plug is the plug that we need to get to to tap our cruise pin into. Um, so this is the messy bit of the job, obviously. Uh, so we're gonna crack on and get that done, get all that pinned back in, um, and then or pinned in. Then we'll get everything back in uh, because you can't code it, test it, or anything, obviously, with anything out. Some stuff that we fit, you know, you can code it and check it before you have to put everything back. But obviously, because the battery is right on top of everything, there's no power because everything's disconnected. So you just gotta be very mindful of what you're doing, be methodical with what you're doing, uh, so that when you finally put your, hook your battery back up and you connect everything up and code it and test it, you're not then going, ah, I've got to get all that back out again. So this is the bit that's really kind of, it's, it's, you know, it's all very serious with all of it because you're working at the steering wheel, you're working at BCM, and we're working here, so you need to be mindful of all your connections. This is one of the main ones, just because it's a proper pain to get to, basically. So, um, right, I'm going to crack on, get it done. Right then, so you've just seen um, kind of a basic run through of scuttle panel out, uh, wipers off, everything like that, just so I've got full complete access. Um, battery out, lid for the e-box out, and this is the e-box. This is where everything electrical kind of runs from. You've got all your main relays, uh, various fuses, and this is the stack of plugs I'm talking about. So this is a full stack and there's plugs either side that plug into each other, go all the way down. Um, and I've got to get to the very, very bottom one. But this is kind of how involved it is, really. Um, so this is my cable here. 
that I poked through uh, just beforehand. I'm now going to cable tie it all the way along to this loom here that runs all the way along so it's nice and neat and tidy, doesn't get caught up in the wiper motors because obviously we don't want that happening. Um, and then it's going to drop down, come down into the e-box and uh, yeah, connect up. And then I've just got to carefully, methodically put everything back, being careful of obviously all this kind of aftermarket wiring that's been put in because it's a converted fan. So I've just got to be careful of all of that because I don't want to disturb it. I don't want to, you know, because I'd hate to put the van back together and then something not be working and it actually be not my previous work or something like that. So, um, so yeah, grubby hands, grubby job. Uh, let's get through and run it all along. Okay, so my cable is all run across now. Uh, what I've done is it's fiddly. It is fiddly because you've got you get your hands in around the motors and everything. But as you can probably just about see, I've cable tied as often as I can all the way along this loom, all the way along the back. So my cable isn't loose, it's not frapping around, it's neat and tidy. And if any, anyone goes in there to ever see it, A, they can work around it because they're not having to deal with it flapping around and stuff. Um, and also, like I said, it's just neat and tidy and out of the way of everything. So I've followed all my loom down here. I've moved all of this loose stuff out of the way and cable tied all to it again. So if anyone ever needs to be in here working in this area, my cable is not gonna get in the way of anyone, but they can see where it's running. So if they did need to I know, move it a little bit, or I don't know, they wouldn't need to because it's, because it's attached to everything. And I've kind of taken the extra five, 10 minutes it might take just to make it that bit neater and that bit tidier. So then it doesn't get in the way of anything. Um, I've run it into the e-box. I've, um, I've carefully, gradually pulled this cage up, the carrier up for the plugs, got into, my, um, got into my plug that I need to get to, made sure that the pin lock was released, clipped in my pin, and then made sure that lock is closed again, plugged it all back in, and then just carefully put all the carrier back in, put my plugs back in, making sure that everything is plugged back in. So I know that I can now put all the e-box back together, put the battery back in, put all of the um, scuttle panel and everything back in, and then I'm confident that all my work that I've done is all in, nice and neat and tidy, and then we can get on, code it all, and we'll be all done. Right, there we go. Uh, it's all in, it's all coded. I've just gone and tested it. Genuine cruise in on this T6, all working perfectly. Um, that's about it really. I'm now gonna just do a final scan, just so that we know we've got a record of the van, you know, absolutely sorted and done. Um, and then that's it. So if you've got a T6 or, um, or a T5.1 you want cruise doing, or you wanted to see how it's all done, um, that's a little video to kind of show you all the workings out and in all the areas we have to work in, show you how involved it is really. Um, that's it. You want anything else, uh, if you want anything fitting, let us know, get in touch. Or if you want any other little videos to show you how stuff is kind of roughly done or maybe any how-tos, drop, drop some uh, comments down and everything and uh, yeah, follow everything and see you again soon.